eternal memories are already our experience. We are just poor at recalling them, for now at least. In this exploration of the idea that all memories and descriptive states of nature's past are eternally preserved, awaiting recall in God's kingdom, a fascinating counterpoint arises from the nature of human memory itself. A counterpoint that supports the thesis of eternal memories. The counterpoint is exposed in the fact that our brains are dynamic and constantly changing and do not store memories in fixed, unchanging structures. Neuroscientific research reveals that our memory system is highly plastic, with neural connections forming, strengthening, weakening, and fading into other forms and connection structures. We believe that this plasticity allows for learning and adaptation, but also means that memories are not stored in a stable, unalterable format. Instead, memories are reconstructed each time we recall them, influenced by the current state of our brain, our emotions and new experiences. This reconstruction process can lead to alterations in the memory itself, a phenomenon well documented in studies on eyewitness testimony and the malleability of human memory. Still, it is remarkably trustworthy and can be shared with each other. Despite the brain's inherent fluidity, humans demonstrate a remarkable capacity to recognize photographs and many other artifacts, even flawlessly recalling extremely long texts and visual details, sometimes even after long periods. This ability suggests that while the substrate of memory, our neural architecture, is in constant flux, the essence of what we remember can be accessed and recognized against all physical odds. It's as though within this labyrinth of ever-changing neural pathways, there exists a mechanism or process that allows us to tap into a stable, enduring form of memory. This phenomenon might hint at the existence of a non-physical, perhaps spiritual dimension, where memories are not subject to the whims of biological change. The ability to access and recognize memories within our mutable minds points toward the concept of a metaphysical sphere where these memories are stored in their purest form. This realm, unbounded by physical constraints, might be where memories exist in a state of permanence, untouched by the entropy that affects all physical forms. Some kind of quantum mechanical reality is already proposed to be part of such a sphere of eternity. The notion that we can retrieve memories and recognize photographs, despite the impermanent nature of their neural representations suggests that our consciousness connects with this metaphysical dimension, accessing memories that are stored beyond the physical brain. This understanding bridges the gap between the physical reality of our brain structure and the spiritual assertion that memories and the descriptive states of nature are eternally preserved. It posits that while our brains may not contain stable memory representations due to their changing nature, the essence of these memories transcends physical limitations, residing in a realm where they remain intact and accessible. This perspective aligns with the idea that upon entering God's kingdom, all memories, experiences, 
and natural histories are unveiled in their unaltered, pristine state. Even now, all our conscious experiences and freedoms to choose actions flow from interaction with this transcendent domain of memories. The interplay between the fluidity of our memory's physical substrate and our capacity to recall and recognize demonstrates a profound connection between the material and the spiritual, the ephemeral and the eternal. It suggests that the very structure of our minds, with its inherent instability, actually points us toward the transcendent nature of memory and consciousness. This duality underscores the belief in a metaphysical repository of memory, proposing that while our brains navigate the changing tides of existence, our memories, our very essence, find permanence in a realm beyond the physical, awaiting revelation in the divine expanse of God's kingdom.